Oh, that's right, baby. It is time for J Rocks. For Venom 2, let there be carnage. J Rock got an opportunity. Check this movie out. Uh, day after it dropped, and now J Rock is going to answer the question which one he thought was better, the movie or the trailer. The answer might surprise you. Come on back. We gotta check this thing out. What is happening in 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 with the millions <laughs> and millions of J-Rock fans from all over the world? That's right, baby. The YouTube People's Champ uh, is here because got an opportunity to check out Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage, and um, it's time for J-Rock to answer the question which one he thought was better, uh, movie or the trailer. This will contain spoilers, by the way, so if you have not seen it and you don't want it spoiled for you, make sure that you go check out the movie first, then come back and comment on the video and let J-Rock know what you thought was better, movie or the trailer, all right? If this is your first time on The Great Ones channel, wondering what in the world is a movie versus trailer review while we're doing this, answer is pretty simple. Way too often, J-Rock has seen a trailer for a movie, it got hype pumped and was ready to see it, only to be completely and thoroughly let down. Thinking to myself, the trailer was better than the damn movie. And so, because a lot of times they put things in trailer that, you know, don't end up making it into the final cut of the movie. Um, and so, and those sometimes are the things where you get excited about. You're like, oh, snap. And then it don't be in the movie or it, it's not as how they edit it at least. So, we're going to check out this trailer, Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage. And, um... At the end, j Rock wants you to weigh in on what you thought was better, the movie or the trailer. Let's check this thing. Now, j Rock says this. This is going to be pretty short. This movie was pretty straightforward, right? I think it was like an hour and a half, something like that. Um, but let's let's go through it. Uh, I'll give you my, you know, my whole take on it as we're going through it. Um, and I'll stop it if, you know, if there's some things I, you know, want to comment on, things of that nature. Uh, we'll do that. But let's check this out. That's right at the end. Those two. And here, we should be out there snacking on bad guys. I am a predator. I need to be free. You have got to get control of your aggression, or you will get walked off into Area 51. All right, so let me stop it right there. The whole. It was a subplot of this movie where Venom it feels like he's being held back by Eddie Brock, okay? And so they begin to clash with one another, right? You know, um, Venom is an, is, an, is a symbiote. Uh, Ot, Oat, doesn't matter how you say it. But he needs a human in order to be able to survive, right? And Eddie obviously is the one who he can survive with. So they be, end up clashing, and the whole scene you just saw where Eddie gets thrown to the floor is them having this feud, right? Because Venom, you know, he said, I need to feed, you know, I need to be out there eating people and feeding off brains, and, you know, I guess Eddie was feeding them chickens, right? You know, just trying to, you know, I guess keep him, you know, at least fed, but not in the way Venom wants to be. So, J-Rock says this. Um, Venom ends up leaving uh, Brock, okay? And he gets, I think it was somebody on a scooter. I can't remember. It was a, I can't remember what they didn't say their name. But he jumps out of Eddie, lands on somebody down on the street, and then he takes off and now he's with somebody else. Now, keep in mind. Venom, you know, because of his high metabolism, you know, he needs to feed or whatnot. He can't just be with anybody, right? And so these people end up, you know, like dissolving, dying, whatever the case may be. Uh, because, you know, they, they, they're they not the proper host 
that Eddie was, okay? That subplot to me was a bit overplayed. Right? It was overplayed. Like J Rock says they just they just they just wore it out. Right? They just wore that part of the movie out. Back and forth. You know, just like, oh my god, okay, we get it. Right? Like that was a big part of the movie, and I'm like, I thought we were talking about Carnage. Like we want to see Carnage dog But anyway, that's you know the whole them battling, I need to be free and what all that stuff. Their shriek, shrek, scream, whatever her name is. Alright, so that was the beginning of their little fight. J Rock says this I should have known better when this movie was rated PG 13. Because this movie was more comedy than anything, a lot of comedy action if you will all right so if you're looking for dark j-rock said whatever i guess depends on your definition of dark but j-rock's definition of dark no this is not a dark movie okay i didn't like that to me venom in this movie uh, comes across as he's becoming more humanized than anything else right like there's still this this struggle he's having between you know being his normal sim uh, symbiotic self but then he's has hung around the humans long enough he's learning their ways and you know trying to you know he's becoming more humanized if you will and i didn't like that so this is right at the beginning this is uh all these cops right here what happened is that Venom actually drew a picture through Brock of where all of uh, Cassidy's victims were because the police couldn't find them. And so Eddie Brock was supposed to be working with Detective. Uh, I can't remember what the detective's name was. That is correct. It does not matter what his name is. <laughs> Venom writes the draws the the uh, the picture to tells tells Brock whether you know where the bodies are instead of Brock going back to tell the detective Brock just goes solves the case himself right and he gets all the credit or whatnot and so that's what's happening right here people love serial killers please why me what's mine it's yours and what's yours so you might be wondering why is Brock that close to Cassidy's cell? Well, if I'm not mistaken, I believe while they were talking right there, he said something, Cassidy, that really ticked Venom off. And so he ends up, Venom actually uses this, you know, um, long reach or whatever you want to call it and pulls Cassidy to the front of the cell and that's how Cassidy gets his hand bites it or whatever so I have tasted blood before that is not dead. apparently that's that's how he got he gets his powers that way or whatever or carnage That's right at the end, towards the end, the final battle. Right? That's his first time turning in the carnage. That's when he breaks out and just wreaks hell. That's his first time seeing Carnage. Is a red one. You need to come out right now. I will let you eat everybody. Promise. I promise. Oh, yeah. They start fighting. Like 
I'm just gonna tell you guys, in my personal humble opinion, J Rock says the trailer was better than the movie. It 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 really was, right? Cause thought the trailer was very very good, very well done, and it's just basically snippets of the movie. But that's the thing about trailers, you gotta be careful, cause sometimes they put the best parts of the trailer in the actual movie. There are some movies where they give you bits and pieces of the best part but not the whole best part right this trailer really gave you a lot of the best parts of the movie like the scenes with carnage where he's blowing up things you know those were like the best parts of carnage they did they didn't do a whole lot of character building right and again like i like j-rock said earlier is that the damn movie was rated pg-13 so you should have known right there, you weren't going to get a dark movie. But J-Rock says he thought they could have made it work. But they didn't, right? So the trailer was better than the movie, in, in my personal opinion, all right? And I didn't like how Carnage just seemingly was just thrown together. It, it just felt so rushed. There wasn't a lot of character building with the Cassidy character beginning of the movie starts out he's already been captured he's in jail right he didn't feel like much of a threat he just felt like some crazy person who's locked up right i mean the most threatening thing he did cassidy in the whole damn movie was when he bit eddie like that was the 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 most threatening thing he did like was when he he bit eddie brock outside of that he just felt like some looney tune locked up now I'm not now Woody now 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 Woody's acting was was great. I'm not talking about Woody Woody's uh, acting. I'm talking about the actual character of Carnage itself. He felt rushed. He felt like miniaturized because you know Carnage is huge, right? But he felt so miniaturized. And I J Rock does not like how they they're doing Venom. He's becoming too comicky, too much of a comedian. J-Rock says this, you know what movie in our personal opinion has really, if oh, but for a moment, depicted who, what Venom is supposed to really be all about? Even though the movie as a whole wasn't all that great, but how they depicted Venom, Spider-Man 3. Think about when Spider-Man 3 at the end, when he and Eddie Brock or that Eddie Brock come together, how Venom is this deep, dark, just 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 menacing you know uh uh character you know like he don't talk eddie does the talking venom is like ah! you know he's screeching he's yelling right he just feels dark in these movies he just feels like like a comedian right you see the superpowers of course but still he doesn't feel very venomous and i don't like that I need Venom to, and, and, and Carnage is supposed to be even darker than Venom. Like Carnage didn't feel like a threat either, right? He just felt like a, like a bad Venom. He didn't feel dark or nothing like that. Now there was some very good CGI and very good action. All right. J-Rock will give it that. But as far as the overall movie, the presentation, the storytelling of Venom, the Venom character, you know, too much of him arguing with Eddie back and forth. You know, uh, he, he felt humanized, right? Like when he left Eddie, he went to a damn party and was partying with like, dude, you're a freaking a, a symbiote, right? And Carnage, man, they just, wow, they dropped the ball with this one. I'm not even going to lie. They dropped the ball with this one, okay? Now. The post, the the end, the post credit scene did set this thing up for some big time stuff. For those of you who saw, you know what I'm talking about. 
when at the end when all of a sudden they're watching TV and then it seems like the world just starts shifting and moving and changing and all of a sudden they're they went from being in like the uh, uh, Eddie Brock's you know home watching a movie or, or a TV show or whatever and now they're on a beach in a hotel room that has a, a view of the beach and then on the news you see uh, Jonah Jameson J Jonah Jameson and then they show a picture of uh, 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 Spider-Man in the sp I'm like oh and then Venom is licking the TV like that guy looks delicious I was like oh oh Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. So they really want everybody to tune in to Spider-Man. Uh, Spider-Man, what is this, three? I, I, I'm guessing this would be better than the other Spider-Man three. But damn, man. As far as this Venom versus Carnage, man, they dropped the ball. This felt so just... All right, we need a we need a we need a Venom movie. What are we gonna do? Carnage. Okay, how are we gonna? Yeah, let's do it. All right, you. All right, you. Uh, what what we got? It just felt so rushed. When I felt this movie should have been much darker, much more dimmer. Venom is becoming more of a comedian. Uh, you know, he's cracking jokes. Right, he doesn't feel like. Like, the first time I saw Venom in Spider-Man 3, like, I'm like, that's Venom right there, man. That's Venom. This Venom cracking jokes and crap. You know, you'd have thought he was crying when he goes and parties and then realizes he misses Brock. I'm like, how the hell are you supposed to be? You're freaking, you're not human. You don't have human emotions. Like, you don't have no conscience. You're freaking Venom, man. Like, really? Anyway. So... I thought the trailer was better than the movie in regards to this one. But what say you? Maybe y'all enjoyed it. You let me know down below in the comment section what you thought of the movie and J-Rock's movie versus trailer review. Which one was better to you? The movie, the trailer, which one? All right? All right? And be sure uh, that if you haven't already, if you enjoyed the great one's movie versus trailer review, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. And be sure that you hit that bell. So you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until next time. Mamba, Gigi, and Wakanda forever. If you smell, what J-Rock is.